Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just wanted to do a quick first impression of a product that has kind of blown me away right now. So I want to do a quick first impression of it. And it's the, um, I'm super late on this by the way. This has been out forever and a day. But it's the um, Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. This little baby that I'm sure you guys have seen oodles and oodles of times. And some of you guys may have tried it as well. Um... And it has coconut oil, silk, protein, and neem oil. My accent came out like super hardcore right there. But um, yeah, this is of course part of the Shea Moisture line. The, um, you know, coconut and hibiscus line. The peachy orange color with the curl enhancing smoothie and the souffle and all that jazz. So yeah, this is this right here. Let me get some consistency action going. Show you guys the consistency. Um, it just has like a lotion-y type of consistency. Um... It's pretty light. Pretty light. I like the smell. Even though I don't really like the curl enhancing smoothie, the smell is something that I've always, always enjoyed about it. And this has the same exact smell. That um tropical, mango-y, um, kind of coconut fragrance. Very tropical, but I really enjoy it a lot. I like it. But um, so yeah, that's the consistency. It's not runny, but it's not thick at all. It's um just a nice light milky type of consistency um without being runny like milk but it's a very light product though um i'm not wasting any of it what i used this for was um after i had my wash and go for a couple of nights um you've seen my last video the um review of the what was it i can't remember oh my gosh um anyway my last review is gonna come to me later but um where i had the wash and go uh, the very next day, like, that bad boy was done. All moisture is depleted. It was super hot outside, so my hair felt, like, crunchy. Like, when you feel your hair and it makes a sound, you know that it's time for some conditioning action to be going on. And I had bought this product from, um, my little mini Walgreens.com haul with a bunch of Shea Moisture stuff a few months back. And I hadn't used it yet, so I decided to bust this out to see what it could do. And I took my um, I took my hair and split it into about seven or eight sections, and I applied this baby to each section. And woe be to me because I can't believe it took me so long to try this stuff. Um, it softened up my hair instantly. My hair was so dry that um, it started to bunch up a little bit. I don't know if you guys' hair does that at all, but when my hair begins to get really dry, it kind of shrinks up onto itself and kind of starts to form a cyclone tangle like a big tangle um in section per section it's not a pretty thing to behold but um this stuff instantly relaxed my hair not relaxed my hair but it um coaxed the um sponginess the spongy type feeling and it just instantly elongated my hair you like that effect right there it instantly elongated my hair and um, gave it incredible moisture to the point where I was even able to finger detangle on dry hair which is just hello hello I was able to finger detangle on dry hair a little bit so I just generously apply apply this product to each section um, about a quarter size amount per section and I really worked it in there and my hair just ate this stuff up y'all it loved it I actually used quite a bit of product um, I used down to about here. My hair was so dry that it just felt so amazing going into my hair that I just kept on adding and adding. Next time I'll be a little more light handed. But um, yeah, so this is just my initial impression. Just I really, really liked it. So I'm just kind of detailing my first experience with it. But I do plan to use it um, as a traditional leave-in conditioner. I'm going to use it for, I think this product is going to be really awesome on dry styles. And when I say dry styles, um, I mean like Bantu knots so that I can't do Bantu um, knots on dry, on wet hair and I don't have the best of luck with them on dry hair but I'm going to keep trying but I think this will work really really well for um for updos, buns, Bantu knots as well as braids which is what I used it for so back to the initial impression I applied it to each section generously and it just um, melted into my hair it didn't leave like a white residue right when I smoothed it into my hair it disappeared and just left soft moisturized hair. I was 
very impressed with it. It's gonna, it's an awesome refresher too. I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be an awesome refresher. But I was applying it to each section, and I just braided each section up um, before bed so that I could uh, get the style to last for another day or so. Cause I had to work, I had work the next morning. So braided up, go to bed. Next morning, I had a beautiful, voluminous big old braid out it was so pretty I wish I would have made a video yesterday to show you guys but um after it looked great it was very soft very defined it smelled nice um my hair was dry the next morning even though I used a ton of product my hair was dry and um, it didn't have that damp producty feeling which is really nice and after work when I was walking around and shopping and stuff like that the humidity made my hair really really big so it started off big and it just got even better even bigger but it still maintained its moisture it still had a good amount of definition even though the volume went like Shoop. so yep I really really like this product and when if I continue to get good results with it I'm definitely going to be purchasing more so yeah I'm gonna come back with a full more detailed review on it after I tried a few more different times and um, but so far I'm really loving it I have my hair in a bun today because it was like a hundred and <sighs> it was like a hundred and ten degrees or something today y'all I don't understand what's going on but no I was not gonna have no hair touching me but it's just a nice messy little bun Got my uh, my hair still moisturized. I applied this stuff on Thursday night. Thursday night after working out, so my hair was like really like bleh. so. I applied it Thursday night, and my hair is still very very soft to the point where tonight is detangled, deep conditioned night, and I don't feel like doing my hair. It feels like amazing. It feels awesome, and it's very very moisturized. So boop. Um, it's very very moisturized. I don't really want to, but I know that I need to because it's been really hot and just it's time. But um, yes. Yeah, so I this is definitely going to be repurchased. I'll give you guys an update, a more comprehensive review after I tried a few different ways. So yeah, the uh, Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. So far, I think based on what I feel right now, it's my favorite product that I've tried from Shea Moisture. But um, that could change. That could change. We'll see. Um, I'm going to be playing around with this more, and I will be coming with a more full and complete um, thoughts on it and stuff after I give it a few more goes and try it in different ways and all that stuff. Um, I also want to give a shout out to um, a very special natural. Her name is Tiara. Hi, Tiara. Um, I was out shopping today shopping today if it's not hair products y'all it's something I'm I'm a hauler by nature I can't help it so little peeks these are some of my goodies I got I meant to go into Nordstrom's to pay my account and I walked out with like a whole new wardrobe almost not a whole new wardrobe but a few key pieces let's put it that way a few key pieces and uh, when I first walked in there I met um Tiara who works at Nordstrom's in the gorgeous I don't want to put all her business out there because y'all, I don't know, not y'all, but people can access this video and if I tell her name, if I tell what department she works in and all that jazz, then um, I don't know, there's some crazy people out in the world. So in in the protection of Tiara, um, she works in Nordstrom's and um, I went to her counter to pay on my account and we started talking about hair and she has locks, her locks are gorgeous, she's such a really, really cool nice person to talk to we just start talking hair um, y'all know how I do and she was just going into how she was caring for her locks and um, I just wanted to ask you guys if you watch any youtubers who have locks please leave their names in the description box in the description box in the comments below um so that in case she sees this video she can check them out because she's really concerned with like moisture and conditioning and I gave her a few links to um a few things I could think of that may help because um, from what my understanding is the caring of locks um, still requires a ton of moisture just like loose natural hair a ton of moisture so I suggested that as well as deep conditioning and steaming and um, products that I like that I think may work on her hair so um, if you guys have any recommendations of any people that you have seen on YouTube or any blogs that have locks please leave them in the comments below so that she can see hopefully and she also said that her cousin is newly natural so hello Tierra's cousin if you happen to be seeing this also but yes um 
that is it guys I'm about to tackle my hair after I finish my P.F. Chang's um I love this stuff y'all this is crack I love this stuff P.F. Chang's hot and sour soup I got takeout before I'm about to spill it I got takeout before I came home because I'm not cooking I'm not going out to eat anymore I'm done for the rest of the weekend I don't know if I will be seeing the light of day because it's just too freaking hot but yep um I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend hi and I will see you in my next video all right bye guys